your game, one away from the championship, it don't get no better than this. No, we the underdogs. But hey, man, we about to come out on top, though. Jackson fires down the middle, ball tipped and intercepted, fired. Hey, not being patient and not panicking. That's how you play, baby. Good job. Blake. Tannehill throws the fade, left side ball up and caught. Is it inbounds? Yes! Touchdown, Titans! Jonu Smith tips it to himself. What a play! Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I am Lance Smith, and for Eddie George's Mark Mariani, and this is AFC Championship Round Titans Blitz. Let's go! What? What? I just said those words, <laughs> AFC Championship Round. Mark, my man, good to hey, see you again. Always a pleasure, man. This is overtime football, man. We're in the postseason, AFC Championship. I'm gonna do my best to contain my excitement and get through this show, but I am ready to run through a wall right now. Good man. luck to Seeing you, because I feel the same way. Woo, let's go, man. Yes! Kansas City, here we come. This is what I'm here for. This man has great energy. Woo. I love this. You gotta All just right. kinda contain it. Let's, let's breathe a little bit and talk about this game. Let's uh, kick off the show. And, uh, and do a little uh, four downs with Mark. So let's break down this game in Baltimore where we whoop some Ravens butt. Um, right. no doubt. First down, first down, uh, same, the second verse, same as the first, tractor pull. Yeah. Derrick Henry. Listen, we're out of superlatives. What, what more is there to say? Right. This guy's on a historic pace. He's doing things no one has ever done. He's 250 pounds of all beast. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's deceptively fast. His vision is unbelievable. There's not a human being on this planet that could tackle him one-on-one, -on -one, especially when our offensive line and those tight ends are just mauling yeah. people like that. I mean, look at Earl Thomas getting thrown the other way. This is an Used all as a pro. <laughs> this is an all pro. So I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. We've been trying to talk about this guy for weeks, and I'm out. I don't know what else to what say else about to say? him. Well, He's already a legend. The guy's carrying us. No one uh, that's ever played this game that's run for 180 yards in three games in a row. Yeah. No uh, one's ever done that yeah. except for Derrick Henry. He set a rushing record for an eight-game stretch. Uh, he's never. No one in the playoffs has ever done yeah. this. And it's something to say, we're going to run it. Yep. And then do it. That's what I wanted to say. And don't forget, these are stacked boxes, eight men in the box. Yeah. We, we know where you're, where you're going and what's happening, and they still can't stop it. And kudos to Derrick Henry, but also that offensive line Ooh, that has a line. new mentality in this playoffs, yeah. man. They are nasty. They are nasty. They've, they've come together and carried us down the stretch. It's fun to watch. The whole team really has sort of come together just the right time, which is what yeah. you want in the playoffs. But, yeah, you're right. That O-line, they're opening up some huge doors. I mean, he's running up the middle and then bouncing it outside. That's it's, right. It's impressive to watch. Uh, let's move on to second down. Uh, I'm sure he enjoyed this, Mr. Dean Pease. Uh, Pease schools his former team there in Baltimore. Yeah. What a, a, a – so you're going up against, uh, you know, Lamar Jackson. That's right. In the Ravens offense. And Dean Pease had a game plan to shut him down. Unbelievable offense. They're explosive. They set every record in the books. They're the rushing champs this year, you know, as a team. And we go in there and just put a hurting on them. And I'll tell you what, from start to finish, we executed this game plan. It was a bend but don't break yeah. type mentality. Uh, they were 1-4 and four in the red zone, 0-4 oh on fourth down. And I'll tell you what, man, it takes every single player on that field to do something like that to a player like Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Role players, starters, everybody was out there balling. It was, everybody it was. was. Uh, was Jarrell Casey's had a great uh, postseason. He had a great season. A great postseason of getting the sack, getting the fumble, uh, uh, Bayard, Vicaro uh, with the picks. But that, um, th those fourth down stops. Yeah. I mean, how deflating is that when you are this, this, you know, this tough offense that can do anything with the ball and on fourth down just getting shut down? Again, our D-line just comes to play. Big Jeff, Daquan Jones, Jarrell Casey is playing like an absolute man possessed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm telling you, that's another down where you know what they're going to do. You know they're going to run it. We know what's happening, and we stuff them 0, and 0 for 4 on fourth and short. Mm -hmm. I mean, unbelievable turning point in the game one after the other. Tons of kudos to this defense. That was the number one ranked offense in the league. Yeah, and shut the crowd down, too. That crowd yeah. was so loud to start the game and then just didn't know what to do, didn't know what to make of what they were witnessing. That's right. And they were witnessing Tennessee Titans' willpower 
just overtaking their team. And Dean Pease every week seems to put together a new game plan. Yeah, uh, we're going to need a ton more of that because don't get don't get it twisted. This is our this is our toughest matchup thus far against the Chiefs. But it's a true story, yeah. true story. Yeah, very similar similar matchup, which we'll talk about. Let's move on to a third down. Talking about uh, Dean Pease being dialed in. Arthur Smith is super dialed in uh, right. this postseason, especially this game. He's very excited on the sidelines, as you can see. Uh, but called. Uh, it's just such an impressive game. Uh, you know, I used to watch Titans games and you kind of know, oh, well, here's a run left or here's a run right. Or you, you kind of knew what was going to have game flow. But but Arthur is, is, is pulling it out of thin air. Again, perfectly executed game plan. And he's got a weapon like Derrick Henry. But I, I'm telling you, we've been watching this the, uh, our run game march down the field. But our, our passing game can be just as deadly mm -hmm. if we needed it. But he's going, hey you got to stop us. If you're going to stop us, we're going to go back to the well until you do stop us. And he is dialing it up. Here we take a shot play with Tannehill. Khalif Raymond's making big Ooh, plays all over the field. That and play right yes. there after the fourth down stop to go deep to Khalif Raymond right away? I mean, I'm telling you, 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 have, a, you have a sudden change, a turnover, mm -hmm. and then you go, you go for the you know, knockout punch right off the bat. Arthur Smith, mm -hmm. you know, big you-know-what. I mean, mm -hmm. I've just been so <laughs> impressed. He's got everybody. Uh, big playability is what I was going to say. He's, he's got <laughs> He's got everybody off balance, including us. I mean, I'm telling yeah. you what, this is a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to watch, and, and, and uh, he deserves a ton of credit. Speaking of beautiful things, can we talk about Derrick Henry's jump pass? Yeah. I mean, that, <laughs> what? I don't so know, guys. You're I'm, thinking, all right, sure, he's going to run it in. And this, he pulls this out of thin air hey, uh, from uh, Uli, Florida. If to Corey Davis, perfectly throwing ball. But i got to be honest, guys, this might be the only thing he did wrong. Marcus Mar Mariota Mar was, was wide, wide open. open yeah. he, it was a terrible read. I mean, what, <laughs> what's he looking at? No, I just right, can't. stick to your day job. I mean, look never to run the ball. No, exactly. But it was brilliant. It was brilliant. brilliant. Well, it was so well executed. But you're right. Marcus in on that play, wide open. Out on the edge, but hey, uh, Marcus again, game after game is is in on these special plays. Don't yep. look for, don't be surprised to see that There's happen. There's more to come down for the sure. No doubt. This next game. All right, finally, uh, uh, fourth down. Uh, moving on. Uh, as a as a unit, we've been doing so much, but really, it's all about these individual players yeah. stepping up, game in and game out, uh, and doing their jobs and just flat out beating. You know, man coverage. Do it. Just, it's amazing to watch what we're doing individually. Yeah, so Coach saying. Rabel's whole whole you know adage is do your job, mm -hmm. good to great, all that stuff. But it takes fifty it takes fifty three guys each and every week, especially when you're the sixth seed, to go start knocking these guys off one mm -hmm. by one. It takes every single person making plays, doing your job. These tight ends blocking on the on the edge, mm -hmm. receivers downfield for Derrick Henry. Corey, no bigger Corey play. Corey Davis blocking. Big Corey time. Davis yeah. is 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 a is making huge uh, blocks in the run game. No bigger play than the Johnny Smith 12-yard touchdown pass sure. to get us going in the first quarter. I mean, all these guys contributing and performing when their numbers called is just unbelievable. Here's Corey, you know, John, here's the Johnny Smith. Yeah. I mean, this play you know, this is on third down, and to hold us to a field goal here after a oh, yeah. after an interception would have been a win for them. And we go get this touchdown catch. I mean, just completely huge. deflating for them. All the momentum in our favor, and then we took off from there. And guys like Johnu, who have been stepping up, you know, you we don't have anybody on our team that's going to get 12, 13 targets a game yeah. like other teams. But to see this receiving core and these tight ends yeah. make the plays when their numbers called has made a huge difference. And I'm yeah. talking about Pruitt. Yeah. I'm talking about Ferkser. Right. I'm talking about Tajay Sharp, my boy. Yeah. All these guys, when their numbers called, they make that play. Very, very well coached team. Totally. All right. Well, you know, uh, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we'll go to our first break with our guy, Co Fast 15. Stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. Throwing deep downfield, going for Raymond, who's there? Can he hold it? Yes! Tannehill running the option, keeping, tries to turn it up, dives in! Touchdown, Titans! Direct snap, Derrick Henry throws it, jump pass in the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Titan man here. We have invaded Baltimore and we're taking over the tin roof. Good. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Now halftime here on the show. You saw uh, fans there in Baltimore taking over the town properly. Uh, I love that. That's right. Love that. What Titan a game. Nation. What a game this was. Yeah. But 
to be in it, that's, I, I love this day and age that we have all the technology we do, micing these players up. It's my favorite thing. So, you know, you watched the game, and I know you loved it, but here's a little, uh, little inside soundtrack from uh, a man who had quite a game, Mr. Kenny Vaccaro, and here is Kenny Vaccaro mic'd up. Gotta take this win. Coming into the bank. Hostile territory. You know what time it is. I'm tired of talking. I need your best, bro. Big, I need your best. I love these type of games, boy. There it is. Yeah, we swarming. Yeah, Mark. We coming. Nope. You better hit that hole, though. No. Nope. <laughs> I got yeah, first two shots. Nah, He's gonna throw it. I know. Catch it. Well, what are y'all gonna make a big play? Probably gonna be me though. Hey, I've been, I'm on a roll right now. Hey, we can get a pick right here. Great eyes, KB. Hey, we can get a pick right here. Blitz coming. Jackson firing. Intercepted by Caro. Picks it off in front of Boykin. Hey, hey, rob the bank. Hey, rob the bank. Rob the bank. Raise that bank. Raise that bank. Raise that bank. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, you want some? Here. Hey, you want some? Here. I knew it. What a clutch, clutch catch. A nice break. Really a clutch catch. He tracked that thing all the way. Made a nice hands catch. That's beautiful. Get back up, right? Okay. Get going. Okay. Call it. Boys, so get ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jackson, under some heat up the middle, throws in, come, plead. Hey, Tom, we do all that hard work. All that hard work. Remember on that hill? On that hill, dog. On that hill. All right, cool. Ben fam, you gonna need a pass. No, you bro. I'm gonna do it for you, dog. All right, bro. Big win. We went to the bank. Stole the money. Ski mask on. On the AFC Championship, baby. Let's go. We get into Baltimore. Let's we conquer. Go. It's the 11th. Number 11 is going to go hard. Shout out to Kevin Kevin. Let's go. 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 Let
but we can do it and yeah. just make it hard, make his day miserable. And two, you know, he, the last time we saw him here, we, we beat the Chiefs, but he was coming off of an injury. Uh, he's so good when plays break down. He's so yeah. good on unscheduled plays, so our secondary is really going to have to run a lot. No doubt. Ultimately. All the weapons, stay on your man, get it done. Speaking of uh, weapons, they have uh, one giant weapon and one Travis Kelsey, the yeah. tight end. Uh, Kelsey is a nightmare on the field. He had uh, 10 catches and a million yards this last game. Um, how do you stop a guy like that? He's a, he's a nightmare. He's a mismatch nightmare. If, if you put a linebacker on him, he's faster. If you put a safety on him, he's bigger. So I think Dean Pease is going to have to specifically get a game plan put together uh, that throws a combination of things at him. Keep him guessing, like I said. But make no mistake about it, this is the safety valve for yeah. Patrick Mahomes. This is his guy. And I know he's got weapons spread all over the field, but Travis Kelsey yeah. is the main guy. When Patrick Mahomes, when things break down, he looks for Kelsey. We have a guy by the name of... Kevin Byard, yeah. by the way, who's yeah. an All-Pro, who will see this guy a lot. I like that matchup for us. You do. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a hard day, but I'll tell you what, man. Strength for strength there, and uh, again, don't, you can't stop him. Just contain him, tackle him. No yards after catch. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna move the ball. They're gonna yep. do what they do, but right, but stick to him like glue. Uh, and third, look, Derrick Henry. I, I want to give him the I want him to run it 60 times if he can get it done. Uh, but AJ Brown, we have lots of weapons, but AJ Brown has an incredible season, and I would love to see what he can do with the ball in his hands. You know, whether it's an end around or jet sweep kind of kind of deal, we've got to get AJ Brown involved. Get your playmakers the ball, get them in space. This guy is a is a freak after the catch. I don't care if it's a one yard throw, whatever it is, get him the ball, get it in his hands, and let's see what he can do. He's been doing it all year. Obviously, he's been a little bit more quiet in the playoffs, mm -hmm. but that's what I'm saying. They're going to try to take away Derrick Henry. They're right. going to try to take away that run game. We have to step up. A.J. Brown has been our guy. Uh, I think he can get it done. I see him having a lot more opportunities this week. Yeah. Um, whether they hand it to him running the ball, throw it to him downfield, take a shot with them, uh, he's going to have to come up big because, like I said, we're going to have to outscore these guys. Yeah, he had the most big plays in the league. Uh, I would love to see some big plays from A.J. Brown uh, this right. game for sure. All right, well, the stage is set. It's the AFC Championship game. There's so much going into this. There's so much emotion riding at this point in the season. So uh, on the other side here, I want to talk to you about what these players are feeling and get your, uh, get your perspective from a, a yeah. player's point of view on what these guys are going through. AFC Championship. Can you believe this? Say it again. We're doing it. AFC Championship. We've got more Titans credits on the other side. Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Mark back with you. It is now overtime here on the show and time for our Wendy's Hot Take of the Week. Here we are. Uh, four teams left of the 32. We're one of them. Uh, it has been a, yeah, it's something just to say that. Uh, what a season it has been. Uh, I want to know from you, Mark Mariani, what these players are, are, are feeling right now. How yeah. do they contain the excitement and just do their jobs? And this is our fourth road game in a row. Yeah. Uh, in January, it's gonna be cold. How do they deal with this? What I think and what I've seen is that we've been playing playoff football down the stretch of the season, couldn't lose a game, uh, and then obviously get the sixth seed on the road at Gillette Stadium in Baltimore against the number one seed. Listen, we are not gonna have one ounce of letdown. These guys have all the confidence, all the swag and all the momentum. They're taking after our coach, Mike Vrabel, who's, who's got all the confidence in the world and his guys and, and the preparation that he puts them through each week. Uh, and I just believe that we've already passed the test of you know, having to shake off these road woes. I mean, we are warriors at this point. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, underdog mentality, come out scrapping. These guys are not afraid of anything at this moment, man. And I, and I would say different, but I've seen it. And I, these guys are playing with all the confidence in the world. They really man. are. Yeah, it's, it's so really fun are. to watch. They've executed their game plan start to finish. Um, and, and we're not just winning, you know, last second field goals. Yeah. We are beating the defending champs and the number one team in the league in back-to-back -back weeks. And now we have another road test in Kansas City this week. I don't care where we play, right. man. We can play Kansas City. We can play in Miami. Woo! We can play <laughs> wherever you want. Wherever you want. Woo! With Dean Pease and that defense and that ground-and-pound running game, we'll go play anywhere. And I'll tell you what, 
the colder and nastier it gets, the better, because that's how we play. We are nasty. And yeah! We are yeah! Yes, Mark Mariani yeah, knows. Yeah. Hey, remember, if you're here in town, check out the watch parties. Make sure you go to George Jones and the Nashville Underground. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Downtown Nashville is going to be rocking. I'm going to be running around, waving that Titan Up towel. It's going to be awesome. It's our third AFC Championship game ever as Titans. That's right. Third time. Yeah. Haven't been here.